A simp, I guess, comes from simpleton, is a derogatory term used to call people who subscribe to these OnlyFans accounts. So they subscribe, and then I guess they somehow think that they have a chance with her. Or like, there was this one girl I remember who like blew up big on and had all these adoring fans. And then when they found out she had a boyfriend, then all the simps got angry. Because they're like, I didn't know you had a boyfriend. You didn't tell me that. Okay. I want my donations back. Whatever. That's a sim. Okay. So so I should just chime in because I, too, assumed uh, Simpleton was the origin of this. But I've since uh, been corrected that it's actually an acronym. So oh, no way. What does that mean? It is someone idolizing mediocre pussy. <laughs> or sucker. Sucker or, or a sucker idolizing mediocre pussy. Wait, a sucker? Like a sucker? Like a sucker. Sucker. Like a suka? Wait, wait, wait. Uh, not sucka quite like a suka. Wait, <laughs> define sucker. Well, I mean, what's the acronym? It just it's slang. It just it it sucker. it can just be someone. Someone idolizing oh. mediocre pussy. So I guess it's okay, interesting. So so there you go. Um, just to define what's a mediocre <laughs> Oh well Ch- well edgy, well yeah, Chad's with big, beautiful chins. Dan, you're kind of a Chad yourself over there. Look at that chin. Me? Yeah, mm-hmm. you're looking at Chad. So, um, <laughs> what do you call the simps? There's Chads, and then there's what's? Uh, simps. So there's two types of. What are you people. asking? There's Chads. Oh, and then virgin. What's the name of the loser. Chad, Chad versus Virgin. Oh, Virgin. Okay, so mm-hmm. the Virgin incels who are have so in the world of the Chad versus the Virgin. The Chad is naturally good looking. He's got a strong chin. Women just want to have sex with him because he's physically attractive. He was born and he has attracted women by no uh, effort or cause of his own. He's just born lucky. And on the other end, there's the virgin, the incel, who because they have weak chins or bad physical traits, uh, they women, no woman will want them. And so they are. So, so those were they called the black pill. Well, there's di- two. Dan, you know more about this so than crazy. I do. But there's the red pill. <laughs> so the red pill is what what you say when you're woken to the concept that all women are whores, sluts, money hungry, and shallow. That's the red pill. The black pill is when you go full uh, Elliot Rodriguez, right, Dan? <laughs> I, I, essentially, yeah. Uh, I don't remember specifically who Elliot Rodriguez was, but he was a, he actually, was I'm assuming he was one of the... us UCSB a while ago. Got it. Okay, yeah. And they actually uh, right, right, yeah. Actually, they yeah. and they specifically cite him. That's right. Yeah. He's like a hero to the incel community yeah. because in his confession uh, before his his uh, before he went and did what that terrible thing he did is he was going, I don't understand why no girls will sleep with me and other guys who will not even treat them better, who will not even respect them, go to all the girls. Why don't I get girls? I deserve girls. So it's kind of like that. It's a very strange phenomenon that really ought to be studied by sociologists whole, because it's it's just yeah. so odd. The first, I feel like I have to unpack all this because I really feel like it's yeah. related to all this. The first thing that strikes me is the entitlement of the of the incels of like first of all they're entitled to women because well I think they 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 just think well I'm a man and I'm entitled to women and I want to have sex and I want to be adored by women but I'm not and I'm entitled to it that's the first part that I don't quite get I mean ch- dudes and you you can make yourself better. That's the thing. I mean, you know, when you look at Elliot Rodriguez, for example, he was a handsome guy. Uh, he wasn't a bad looking guy. He was in shape. I think really the dude is just a lot of these. It's like the nice guy syndrome, which is another one where it's like, I'm going to treat you better than any other guy. Yada, yada, yada. I'm going to love you better than any other guy. I'm going to treat you right. And then the minute they sense they get insecure or sense any type of rejection. They go, fuck you, bitch. You're a whore. I would never fuck you anyway. That whole thing, right? So it's a... it's a. To me, the whole concept just doesn't make any sense because it's like 
it's all everything is so subjective i don't know whoever i'm gonna find to be the right person for me is not what these guys are thinking it's not like i it's not like every girl wants to be with that guy that they think is the chad no and and also let me say that as a guy dude who wants to find an attractive spouse trust me it's way better being a guy because you can be beat ass ugly and fi- and you guys are dating up all the time, every day. Even right now, there's a guy out there dating way up. Me, dating way up. Women, they date down. Women date down. It's, it's just well, a matter of fact. It's just a matter of life. It's true because women can look past certain things. It's not like, oh, I just he needs to look like this or I'm not even going to look at him. It's just not like that. This is so cute, this bracelet. Thank you. You should show that. It's like gummy bear bracelet. It's so sick. Got gummy bears. So I don't think you can see it. Oh, maybe here. I don't know. So, um, but but so the thing that women look for men is what you kind of traditionally expect in the long term. I mean, if you're in college and you're just trying to get fucked, I mean, girls aren't necessarily trying to get married. Okay, so you might have to fuck a fat chick if you're really that beat. But so what? It's, that's the other thing about these incels. But they, that's the they, thing. They, what they you don't want to settle. They want that's, ends. What you every just time. said is exactly like, okay, who said that that's bad? Who said that girls are not fucking a fat guy? Like, what's. Girls fuck fat guys. They I'm are. Case in point. It's just the whole. Well, it's just the whole. Everything about it is so wrong to me. I just can't even begin to understand. Well, so here, here's the problem again it's the internet, okay? Before the internet. You had these spiteful, angry incels who wanted to fuck tens, but could only pull uh, threes, and so they hate they hate these threes because they think they're worthy of the ten. But now you got these communities, and they're having they're defining. They got the red pill, mm-hmm. you got the black pill, you got all these theories about chins and chads, and then all of a sudden it becomes like a it becomes like a discipline becomes a study and that's the problem with the internet right it makes these outsiders uh feel like they belong to a community and these phenomenons become uh they become manifested into the world but women are looking for you know good fathers good providers people who are uh nurturing having a good uh, i mean all these things right you can overcome bad looks also you can exercise you can dress nice you can shave and do your hair and shit there's a lot you can do to make yourself it can be a lot attractive. simpler than that just someone who you connect with like you guys like the same things you like the same music you like the same whatever no, see, that's not helpful because they'll just look at a 10 and be like what we like the same movies we like the same music and then they're like oh he's friend zone obviously mm-hmm. and then all of a sudden it's like hey do you want to go out she goes no you're not my type and he goes I fucking, you are such a whore. You led me on. I hope that you date a guy that beat you and raped, and they'll start saying, oh, but that's it, right? Only tens. You gotta know your, you gotta Just know what you can date, bro. Look okay? at Dan's background. What's up? No, she just, Dan is eating chips, by the way. And I was muted, sorry. I didn't wanna. <laughs> we don't have the algorithm in place. I just saw a silver Kanye staring at me. Um, you got to know look you got to be real dude you got to be real okay me myself at my best i'll say like right now probably in my current shape i'm probably like a three no i mean listen I, you know that because you've you're seen not me, a three i'm just saying uh, i mean if i'm dating in the world right now and let's say i, I don't have money or fame too it's tough but I, I, it's tough, okay? But okay. if I've cleaned up and I was looking my best, physically speaking only, I can maybe achieve a six at best, okay? But that's enough to work with as a guy. Yeah, mm-hmm. I mean, why everyone wants to be a 10. Like, Who's course. a 10, Brad Pitt? There's like one 10. Right. You're not a 10, bro. You never will be. You just say, if you can be a five. Why do you even want to be a 10? Clean yourself up to a five. Because these people haven't developed out of middle school. I remember in middle school, you're like, oh, all these handsome guys, all the girls want the same cute boys, and I want those girls, and it's not fair. Because you're not, you haven't developed, you haven't, it's like they never got past that. Mm-hmm. So this is a long way around, coming back to the IDUPS controversy, is that I feel like there are a lot of immature, um, there's two camps really. There's like the incels and then there's like the Puritans, which somehow 
is a thing now in this society where uh uh purists when, or when, puritans well puritans it's like a it's like they they believe that women must be pure and if you show your titties to the world then your titties have less value to your man you uh. know like uh i wonder what these guys think about their girls wearing bikinis you know it's funny all these these guys are like uh probably have more in common with uh isis uh right what? Well, the ISIS guys, they make them cover the woman's uh, whole body and walk behind them. And it sounds like these guys don't think that's such a bad idea. That. Well, you know, I'm just having fun here. The Al-Qaeda. Yeah, you guys might have more. You might, guys might have a better time with Al-Qaeda. Uh, 